ChatGPT is surely one of the best AI tools out there, capable of some amazing stuff, but what if we could take it even further? So I scoured the web and found a bunch of cool plugins and extensions that turn ChatGPT into something all-powerful. But first, I have a confession to make. I have never been a diligent reader. Usually when I need to research something for a video, I open a ton of articles and guides, but never read them fully. I just skim through everything, trying to get a grasp on the general idea. And trust me, this is not an ideal way of doing things. To fight this problem, I've come across a very helpful Google Chrome extension called Wise One. Wise One basically takes the power of ChatGPT and makes it available on any web page. Using this extension is super easy. All I need to do is install it and start browsing the web as usual. It will work silently in the background and when I come across an article with strange words or complex concepts, the extension will spring into life. The default function of this extension is explain and stuff. And here I have an article about AI. And as you see, many words are highlighted in blue. And when I drag my mouse over them, a question mark appears. And then the extension window pops up and shows an explanation of that concept or term. If needed, from each such explanation, I can go to a dedicated web page to find more information. This feature alone would be super helpful to students and researchers. But Wise One has a couple more useful tricks, such as summarization, for example. This extension can summarize any web page, even if it is a PDF document. It gives key takeaways in a summary text, which helps save me a ton of time researching stuff. I can just glance over the summary to see whether there is something useful in the article for me. What I like about this summary feature is language selection. I can choose any language from the list and the summary will get written in that exact language. Now I can easily look for information on Spanish, French, Italian, or even Chinese websites. And here is one more useful feature, explore. When I select it, the extension finds corresponding articles that expand on the topic and give relevant information. I think this extension really makes ChatGPT more useful than before. There is one more problem with with ChatGPT that needs solving. By default, it cannot access links. And this can get frustrating sometimes. Let's say I have a bunch of articles that all need to be read. Opening each one and reading them one by one is not exactly fast, so I found a useful plugin for ChatGPT called Link Reader. But before I explain what this plugin can do, let me quickly remind you how to install plugins. To access plugins, you first have to be a paid subscriber to ChatGPT, then you need to switch to GPT-4 model, and in the drop-down menu, select plugins. Then you click here and go to plugin store where you can search for any plugin and install it in one click. Once you do all that and install necessary plugins, you can switch on link reader. To use this plugin, all I need to do is ask ChatGPT what the link is about and paste the link. Here is the article from The Verge. And as you see, this plugin does a really good job at accessing it and writing a summary. I think doing multiple articles at once with this plugin will be super useful to anyone like me who needs to research a lot of stuff, but reading articles is not the most important feature for me. I have a lot of scripts for videos, and sometimes I don't want to read the entire script for a video that was published a few months ago just to remember what it was about or remind myself about a certain AI tool. Link Reader can easily access Google Docs and summarize the text from any document. To me, this is a lifesaver. This plugin is really cool, but it's not without flaws. For example, the developer says that it can analyze images from links but every time I tried to test it, all it gave me was a dry and technical analysis of the image consistent of its resolution and nothing more. And it also cannot access YouTube videos, which is a shame. I hope that these features will get added and improved in the future updates. So maybe by the time you see this video, everything will work. I will keep using it and keep you posted on the results. At this point, I think you and I have one thing in common. We all love AI and we'll love it when AI makes it run in our business fast and easy. So that makes it two things. Since that's the case, I've got something we can all find super helpful. There's this great guide called The Ultimate Guide for Using ChatGPT at Work, a lifesaver for anyone looking to save a little time with ChatGPT. This ebook helps better understand ChatGPT and AI in general by explaining the use cases and capabilities in detail, from simple stuff like information retrieval to complex project management. There are a ton of helpful tips to make ChatGPT 
ChatGPT for you and your business. But for me, the best part is the detailed guide to how ChatGPT can be used at work, along with a hundred prompts that are ready to use. The list is really detailed and can save you a ton of time at work, creating surveys, roadmaps, and improving conversion rates, for websites. That's only the tip of the iceberg. This ebook is probably the most useful piece I've read in a while and it's free. This resource was made by HubSpot, who is the sponsor of today's video. All you need to do is click the link below and start making ChatGPT work for you with this guide. Now answer this, have you ever wished you could have a conversation with ChatGPT using your voice? Imagine being able to ask it questions, give it instructions, all without having to type a single word. With a Prometheus extension, this dream is now a reality. After I install the extension, a set of buttons appear on the ChatGPT page in the upper right corner. To start giving voice input, I can either click a button or just hold the space bar. Then the input text box will get outlined in yellow, indicating voice input. Then I can just say what I want to get. I can ask it about velociraptors and then hold that space bar and continue asking about AI. I can keep on asking questions one after another without stopping. The best part is that this extension does not limit the functionality of ChatGPT in any way. It just adds voice input and and text-to-speech answers. If voice responses are enabled, this extension will read out every answer from ChatGPT to you, making it super easy to consume information. I know there are people who are not good at understanding written information and prefer audio. If you're one of such people or you just don't want to type anything, this extension is for you. What is also cool is the fact that I can choose the accent for responses from American English to proper English or even Australian. It is a neat little feature that definitely should not be overlooked. Don't know about you, but for me, this extension is really helpful and saves a ton of time. So be sure to check it out. The next plugin is really cool. Remember when I said that Link Reader can't access YouTube videos? Well, Box Script can. And it can do much more than that. For example, I can just paste a link to a video and ChatGPT will use this plugin to write me a summary. This summary is quite detailed and on point, which I like. What I also like is asking follow-up questions about the summary and videos and the plugin will actually tell me what I want. Apparently this plugin creates a transcript for a video and saves it internally and then gives only a summary. And each time I ask follow-up questions, it just reads the transcript back from its memory. Looking for the answer. Impressive, right? If that's not enough, the other features of this plugin will blow you out of the water. Here is what it says it can do. Search for YouTube videos, create transcripts, analyze text files, give current time, and the craziest one of all is provide stock info. This is probably the most unexpected feature since usually ChatGPT and other AI tools prefer not to give any financial information or advice, but this plugin gives it all. For example, I can ask it about stock info on Apple to which it will give me recent news with quick summary and links to read more. It doesn't give exact numbers, but makes understanding the situation in the stock market super fast and easy. I can also ask whether I should invest in bonds to which it will give me a list of news with short snippets from them. At the end of the response, there is basically an answer suggesting me to invest in bonds. I think we still shouldn't rely on AI to make financial decisions for us, but I see the potential of this tool. And as for those YouTube videos, I can just ask it to find me videos about something or straight up ask for the best video on the topic and get a list. I think this plugin is really useful and helpful no matter what you do, research videos or trying to invest. We've talked a lot about research and stuff in this video, so why not look at another plugin dedicated especially for research? You would understand how frustrated it can get to find relevant information for your project or thesis, reading through dozens of articles, all with similar and sometimes misleading titles, can really take its stall on a bright mind. So if you're a student or a researcher, you should try Scholar AI. With this plugin, I can just straight up ask ChatGPT for papers about something, like the recent discoveries on curing cancer, to which it will give me a list of scientific articles with a short summary and links to full papers. This way I can just keep asking more and more for different articles and choose the ones I like without having to read all of them. What's interesting is that if my question requires the AI to support or oppose 
post something, it will give a list of articles that are just relevant to my question. For example, here I ask for papers on the negative impact of birds on crops that naturally shouldn't really exist. So the plugin gives me a list of papers which indirectly cover the topic. In this case, all of them revolve around climate change. This is a really great plugin for ChatGPT and I am sad that AI wasn't a thing a few years back when I was studying. ChatGPT is not perfect, but there always will be extensions and plugins to make it better. And I will keep looking for more, so you better stay tuned. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.